Thank you for the kind invitation. I'm going to talk about patient reported outcomes and uh, it's in a journey to better outcomes in cancer care. So what are the objectives of healthcare? We want to help patients live longer. We want to help patients live better. So we got to ask ourselves the following questions. Is the current model of healthcare patient centric? Does it actually provide value to the patient? And can technology help in relocating patients to the center of healthcare delivery? And when it comes to treatments, it's really important that we measure how they go because as a famous saying goes, what can't be measured can't be improved. But measure what? We can measure disease related symptoms. Symptoms like nausea, pain, fatigue. We can measure treatment specific symptoms, pain, wound side infections, discharge mobility. But just measuring is just not enough. We have to track, measure, track and respond to that. So what are the advantages of bringing this measure, track, respond cycle into our system? Here are a few. One, it decreases attrition from patient care increases adherence to therapy, helps us measure performance, helps reduce cost of care, improves communication, and ultimately greater patient satisfaction and treatment outcomes. So what is PROM? Patient reported outcome measures helps to provide value-based, tech-enabled, patient-centric healthcare. What is PROM? It is any report of the status of the patient's health condition that comes directly from the patient without interpretation of the patient's response by a clinician or anyone else. And PROM tools can be completed during the illness or while treating a health condition. Sometimes pre-event PROM or post-event PROM can be useful. For instance, as this figure shows, patient inputs data to their system, which could be SMS-based, which, which could be a telephone call-based uh, system. The clinician can get it. The health service researchers can use it, the healthcare systems can use it to measure, and other patients, caregivers, supportive providers can use it. A large clinical trial evaluated participants or patients into two groups. One group gave patients the ability to report their outcomes. The other group, you should care. It was a questionnaire sent to patients and email alerts were triggered. That is the PROM group. At the end of the study period, the study showed significant benefits in quality of life as well as secondary outcomes of one-year quality adjusted survival, increased duration of chemotherapy use because patients are living longer, less emergency department use and five-month overall survival benefit. Now, if this was an immunotherapy drug, it would be approved, but this isn't. This is just a simple tool on your phone, but this one has an email, even primitive, and longer treatment use in the PRM group. These trials show that the curves actually widely separate two big trials, one in lung cancer and in all comers, significant benefit. Now, if you see any of these graphs here today, please let me know because you may not see such graphs here for any drugs. Now, the investigators actually tried to replicate in a large cluster randomized trial in the community. And large study gave patients the ability to invite weekly survey via web or automated telephone system for up to one year. Uh, and the other is a control arm. At the end of the study, 1,200 patients and significant improvement in digital symptom monitoring during cancer treatment confers clinical benefits, more symptom control, better quality of life, etc. Now, if you come to disease specific issues around lung cancer surgery, for example, patients who are getting lung cancer surgery were asked to fill a daily uh, inventory of symptoms, and the other group, no such inventory logging, it was usual care, and at the end of the day, prom based symptom management after lung cancer surgery showed lower symptom burden, fewer complications than usual care for up to four weeks post-discharge. So I talked about cancer care as a whole. Now we are looking at an example of one disease or one surgical condition. Now why is this important in India? We have a significant healthcare burden, uh, 5.2 million medical injury cases, $40 billion worth of expenditure, five lives lost every year for every minute uh, out of medical errors. Now, you may or I even dispute the numbers, but there is no dispute the fact that there are 
substantial damages to our healthcare system as well as to our patients because of medical errors or because of oversights or because of poor quality care. And here's where I want to introduce the tool that we have created that I have founded. It's called Meevil. Meevil is the name of a bird in Malayalam. It's a, you know, the English name is Sparrow. What I mean is the Sparrow will travel with you, the patient. So let me explain, let me illustrate what we have done. We built an amazing platform where we empower patients to actively participate in their healthcare journey. With what we have built, we have enabling seamless communication, information sharing, collaboration between patients and the healthcare providers, including doctors and the entire care team. How we have started, we are trying to uh, help healthcare overall, but uh, we've decided to take up cancer care as our minimum viable product. So we're going to test this in the cancer care field. Uh, our, our key features at the moment are symptom reporting, medication tracking, and we have threshold alert systems and ability to intervene. Eventually, we want to get to data-driven analytics and dynamic patient outreach. Our key capabilities, we are able to understand patient needs better. We're able to use data better, eventually maybe to optimize patient outcomes. We're able to intervene when issues happen and the platform provides patients and providers uh, alike uh, equal responsibility. How it works, patients are given an app that they can download. They are able to report their symptoms on a regular basis based on how, how soon they want it, how frequent they want it, hourly, it's up to them, daily, it's up to them. And uh, our uh, we can set a threshold for that symptom. It's a simple Likert score or a 0 to 10 score uh, based on 10 being the worst symptom that they're fe facing, 0 being none. And uh, we have set alerts and uh, we get alerts in our phones, in our emails to which we can respond. They are able to input their medications as well. This is how the portal looks from a doctor's standpoint. We have the patient's basic uh, details including uh, their disorder characteristics. That's a graph of how one patient is reporting her symptoms of nausea, vomiting and pain. Uh, this patient is actually logging her symptoms every three days. On the right hand side, you can see how the patient is inputting what medications that they are taking regularly. There are abilities to input patient notes. Now, let me give you some case examples. This is one patient who got chemotherapy for metastatic breast cancer. On the left side of the panel, the patient is logging in symptoms few days after chemotherapy, everything over the top of the roof. We intervened and that's the last part of the second panel is what happened. Her symptoms actually improved. She feels better. This is logged in by the patient. Uh, responded uh, following our intervention alerts. Uh, the left pill is a case study too. Patient on serotonin, she was on 450 milligram dose in the initial part of those days. She had greater gastrointestinal symptoms. We reduced the dose to 300. We have objective measurement based on patient report itself that the patient feels better now. An unfortunate case, case, case study three on the right side. This is a patient who came to see me. Uh, we've given this patient the ability to input the data he logged in, uh, put in uh, data on October 21st, just a few days ago, uh, that was a nausea of 5. Subsequently, we realized that patient has been vomiting, she has nausea, is pain. He died 24 hours later. Uh, this was a preventable uh, catastrophe. If the patient had reported to us properly or if they had called us, we could have probably saved blood to death. So challenges up ahead in implementing this, we want to make it very easy and intuitive for every patient to use. Comprehensions is a problem. We want to use patient relevant measures. One key challenge is healthcare worker uptake. Now currently this is only my patients and they know that they can reach me through WhatsApp. So that's one reason they, they ask me, why do we want to use this prom? Because we can always reach you on your WhatsApp. So that's one drawback, but at the same time, it could be a benefit too when other providers actually start using it when they are not approachable over phone. There is a digital divide, but Kerala is the right place to test this. There is much less digital divide nowadays through WhatsApp. Apps are much easier to use these days. What is the incentive for patients? I think you got to explain it. There is a learning curve. They got to really see that there is an incentive. They can save their lives. They can make their quality better. You got to teach them. Um, the training personnel responding to triggers needs to be trained. You know, if they see an alert, how do they respond? And this is preliminary data. Currently, we have given the invitation, which is just a brochure, just a flyer. We haven't explained much about it. Handed over fly, we wanted to use a test is as real world as possible. We've given the flyers to 95 patients in our first MBT testing just this past month, out of which 60% uh, registered on the app without too much prompt. 40% did not register on the app. We made a phone call seven days afterwards just to see what is blocking them or whether they're interested. And after that uh, phone call, additional 40% uh, of patients actually downloaded. So 60 versus 40, 40 more downloaded after another a seven day follow up. The current app usage, about 30% of patients are tracking symptoms and medicines. 
about 50% of patients are tracking symptoms and 15 patients are tracking medications and uh, our details are available here at mebelcare.com we are happy to collaborating with uh, colleagues uh, across India and also for partners to support us as we take this forward. Our next step is to expand this to chronic diseases including diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and everything related to chronic diseases. So that is uh, what we've been doing with uh, PROM related uh, base. That's our base product but we have got other products that we plan to line up in association with this. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.